Well, safety at sea is being learned on land in Bethesda. That's right. Today, the Carter Rock Division of the Naval Surface Warfare Center unveiled its newly renovated wave testing basin. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis explains how the $25 million project will keep ships safer on open water. It's the perfect storm. If you ever look down on these waves, what's really amazing is they are so uniform. With perfect precision. The control we have over these is amazing. 216 finger-like boards simulate waves seen all across the globe, putting model-sized warships to the test in the most compromising oceanic conditions. As we say here at Carterock, we do things for the warfighter that industry can't, won't, or shouldn't do. The project, six years in the making, completely overhauled the Navy's original tank built during the Cuban Missile Crisis. The roots of the incredible operational capability of the U.S. Navy can be traced back to the design, development, modeling, and testing that takes place right here in this facility. The endeavor wasn't cheap. The price tag, $25 million. And there should be absolutely no doubt that the investment that the nation is making here at Carter Rock in this upgraded facility will pay for itself many times over. The Navy admits other nations like Brazil, Germany, and Japan operate tidal basins. But none, they say, measure up to this. When testing officially begins in March, the Navy will also assist the U.S. Coast Guard, NOAA, and private marine manufacturers with their safety research. From the Carter Rock Division of the Naval Surface Warfare Center in Bethesda, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News.